What is going on, people? It is Jose from Gianna's Auto again. Um, I was gonna start the video like this to look kind of cool, mysterious, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm bored. Um, yeah, man. What's up? I, sorry. I, I, I truly apologize. I've been doing a lot. I've, I don't know if you guys. I think I told you guys before. I opened the martial arts dojo, and that's been taking up a lot of my time setting everything up giving classes so it's been crazy but i'm getting back on this thing look, look how much dust has that's how long it's been here well, it hasn't yeah it's been long but i haven't touched it so i haven't really been here so this is what i've been doing today i'm i'm gonna start cutting this side off so that i can get this side done I don't know if you, if you remember from the other videos. I got a lot to do down here. Wait, see, I lost my flashlight. But there's a few holes there and over there. It's it's kind of bad, but it's not as bad as the other side. I want to... Maybe? Possibly? Yeah, no. It's not really as bad. Um, The other side, I had to cut the floor. It was horrible. But... Yeah, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna give you a quick time lapse of me cutting off the side. And yes, I know my shop is a huge mess. Like I said, I haven't really been here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get to that now. All right, so you told me to cut that out real quick. Um, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut it up slice. I didn't want to cut too much into here because here we go. The actual gas uh, gas tank bucket, if you want to call it, I don't know what the hell they call it. Um, the little bucket in here is still good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna get my pliers and cut that out. Alright. So. Look. A nice little gentle tug and you fuck it up. Not a big deal. There we go. Alright. Um. I don't want to mess up this little dip right here. You come and see if you come in to here, <clears throat> you see this little lip right here. I'm gonna weld the new quarter onto that just to make it look a little bit more factory. So I'm gonna leave that here. I'm just gonna try to. I'm gonna cut right here with the grinder real quick, and I'll get to you guys in a second. All right, so I cut it real quick. There we go. No manhandling. There we go. He's coming out. Let's cheat it. There we go. And as you can see here, you can see that the the lining of the bucket is still not rotted, which is a good thing. We'll cut, break this off right here. Sometimes it breaks off easy, sometimes it doesn't. But, you know what? I'm just gonna slice that real quick. It's a shame to have to cut this car up like this. When I first met the owner of this car, it wasn't that bad. It was actually in pretty good condition. Somebody else did the work, the trash. All right, so 
And there we go. Let's cut this off. I don't want to have to go get a tetanus shot, so I'm just going to cut everywhere I see rust. There we go. I'm going to rebuild all this because, as you, as you can see, coming closer, as you can see, the idiots that supposedly restored it this is what they did they riveted a bunch of metal and this is the end result crap just sheer shit so I'm gonna do what I did to the other side I'm gonna make this panel here by hand um, I'm gonna have to make a lot more than what I did for the other side, which sucks, but he's paying for it. Well, he paid for it. So I do what I'm told. I do what I'm, I do what I'm paid to do. So this is just horrible. At this point, I'm gonna have to get, I'm gonna have to look for a, maybe a donor car and then cut the whole inside of the quarter out and do it. So, yeah, let me get to it. Okay. So, here we are again. What same old bullshit. A big old rusty car. All right, so <clears throat> this I had a lot of damage, but it's not that bad. It looks bad. It is bad, but it's not that bad. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. I think it makes sense. It makes perfect sense, actually. Um. Okay, so yeah. Um, bah, I gotta cut that off. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna tippity tap. Hopefully, good it's fine what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the light on to see I'm gonna place the light back on to see um, to, to align everything and I just made a dent where that wasn't all right so, let me get that light, if I remember where I put it. <clears throat> Alright, so I found the light. Just gotta take these little nuts off. That's what she said. And I lost one of my nuts. That's not what she said. All right.
So, what you want to start doing <clears throat> is you want to start getting everything placed. Start placing everything where you think it wants to be, and you clamp it. Where you think it's gonna go, so that you start lining stuff up. That actually looks really good. Now the reason it pokes out a little right here is because I have to trim it right here so that it butts up against each other. You don't want to overlap them for the simple fact that number one, you're going to have alignment issues on the panels. Meaning if you put one panel on top of another without without beveling it you're gonna have that so what you want to do is in a lot of occasions i could make a little bit a little drawing right here so if you have two panels and you put one on top of the other you're gonna always have that little step right here so then you have to fill it up with bondo and you're gonna have a little bubble you don't want to do that a lot of cases a lot of body shops will do a little step down where you can place the new panel and do it that way or you can butt weld them you can butt them up against each other and you'll have all you have to do is fill that up with weld and then grind that off later There's, so those are two ways of doing it you never want to do it putting panels on top of each other because it's just garbage, it's trash. You don't want to do that. So, my method is butting them up against each other, which gets a little bit nerve wracking because you want to be able to, um, when you weld it, you have to space out your weld so that you don't destroy your quarter. <clears throat> you don't want that. Now in this case, unfortunately, I had to cut more than what, um, more than what the size of the quarter is, for the simple fact that um, it, it rusted out, it rotted out because the idiots that did this before, they did it wrong. So. I'm gonna have to start making panels um, for the insides, <clears throat> but I'm gonna leave this episode here. Um, stay tuned for the next one. I'm gonna be filming all through um, all through this week. Uh, today, this week is Thanksgiving. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna keep trying to make videos all week so that um i could update you guys and i could get you get this car out of the shop already because this little canaries i hold it special but i want it out of my shop already and in the owner's hand so the next episode which is tomorrow i'm gonna finalize all this i'm gonna make sure that this panel is good and tomorrow I'm going to actually start making the panel that goes here, which is going to be really time consuming. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.